Skål, det var en väldig kommentar på det vi sett hittills. Ja, det känns... Eh... <laughs> Mycket DDR. Ja. Sjukt nedgångsstad, det är otroligt. Här står vi ute på Motown, som är mitt, mitt gamla fantastiska favoritskivbolag. Alla vet ju att det är från Motown som... Det tar ju ut som Motown faktiskt kom. Vi ska gå in här. Motown som Jackson 5, Four Tops, Temptation, Dan Ross, alla var här. Som stannar här var Mr. Gene West, director of security of Motown Museum. Tell us, Bob, what do you think about Jonas Jurepko? Ah, I think he's a great player with a lot of potential, a lot of energy, and a lot of upside. So what's happening? Rough neighborhood here, is it? Pardon? Is it a rough neighborhood here? Uh, yeah, but Detroit has got a bad reputation. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right. I mean, every big every big city has its good parts and its bad parts. So uh, anyway, your cousin played for um, the Pistons. Yes, he did. What's his name? Greg Kelser. Played with Magic. Magic Johnson in Michigan State. They won the NCAA tournament championship game in 1979. They beat Larry Bird in Indiana State. Jonas is already on the Pistons. They might just let Jonas be the starting small forward and just trade Tayshon maybe for a big man, a center, or or power forward. They need a center, right? Yeah. I would say they need a center, or develop the young centers that they got, Kwame Brown and uh, Chris Wilcock. I mean, Chris Wilcock is only like 26 years old, but uh, he's athletic. And uh, Kwame Brown, he never panned out to be what he's supposed to be, but he's still young. So what do you think about Jonas Jurevko's potential as an NBA player? Oh, uh, he's got a tremendous upside. He's got a lot of potential. He just needs to uh, keep improving, working on his game during the summer. Play against better competition. He's got to play all year round. Stay injury free. He'll be all right. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. <laughs>